Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, soon we are planning a trip to Africa for a wildlife safari. I would like to give you some tips about um, what to pack in your luggage. So this video is about minimalistic packing for, a, for an African wildlife safari. Don't mind the color, that was the only one that I could find because it's, you know, very light. Mosquito sprays here, um, sun lotion, a knife. And I would absolutely advise you uh, to get a Swiss knife as well. This is a rope, you can use, use it for many purposes. Actually, we use it for hanging our uh, mosquito net that we bring along because sometimes the mosquito nets are um, not really reliable. So we just bought this mosquito net so that if there is any problem with the mosquito nets or sometimes we even double net it um, to be protected during the malaria time. A torch, a reliable torch would be very necessary and as you can see it's a very little one that I'm having in here. So here is a travel adapter. Um, since we are traveling somewhere else than Africa, um, we chose this you know, little package that has all the adapters in. So all the things that you need are right here at your reach. They are in different sections and you close that once. So there you go, you can just drop it in your luggage. Here we have the headlamp, which is very useful when you want to be hands-free. Here I have a gaffer's tape. I wrapped it around a card actually, which I also folded. This was actually an iTunes card. So that I don't have to take the whole thing. This gaffer's tape is non-sticky, so this is a very much light tape. Especially the photographers and filmmakers will know what gaffer's tape is. It's highly recommended. And right here I have a battery-powered um, smoke alarm. So if you are sleeping in a tent or something and when there is a fire, uh, this is going to be a lifesaver. There is all my bathroom products. I'll just show you what's inside soon. As you can see, it's a very little one. As you can see, I'm using very um, simple tools. For example, well, actually for brushing my teeth, I have the um, battery-powered toothbrush, but I'm not going to take it along with me because it, you need to take also its charger. Um, it takes up much more space and makes the package heavier. Folks, just in case in the places where you will stay, maybe they don't have the hair dryer or maybe it's too weak, um, taking the hair dryer along with me, which is a travel size one. You can actually clap this. It's pretty practical. You can find this in also drugstores. Um, and they don't cost much. It costs around, I think, like 10 US dollars or something, which is very light and very efficient. Here's an interesting item. This is actually a pee bag. So think that you are in the middle of the bush and you saw something amazing and you don't want to go back to the camp or the nearest toilet is a little too far away and you don't want to miss the moment. No matter where you're traveling, I would always recommend taking this um, very slim um, travel wallet with you. It's very easy to fit your cars, your cash in. So folks, these are the clothes that will be traveling with me. As I mentioned earlier, I take very less stuff with me to be minimalistic. So right here, as you can see, I have only two t-shirts, two shirts. Um, I would recommend you getting the neutral colors and especially light colors because you're going to be under the sun most of the time. And when I go to safari, it's also got the natural color and these are pretty light. And the reason I choose the long sleeves is because it's also protecting me from the sun and from insects too. I have two pants. You could also use shorts, but I prefer to have pants instead. I just took a short just in case it's too hot and all. I would highly recommend getting a lightweight jacket that's also rainproof. If you're coming in the rainy season, and if you're traveling somewhere else which is going to rain, I recommend getting these pants, which I folded in here. Um, these are very lightweight. Uh, rainproof pants that you can find in the um, 
shops where they sell also bikes or bike accessories because the bikers are also using these often. You simply wear them on top of the pants you're wearing. I'm taking a photo vest with me, a very light one. And I highly recommend this one, especially if you're carrying heavy photographic equipment. I'm also taking a hat to protect myself from the sun. A very lightweight one, as you can see, it's very easy, you know, foldable. It's getting pretty cold during the winter season in Africa, especially in the mornings. And also in the summer, it's also very chilly. So this goes right into your um, neck, like that. It's protecting your neck from cold. If it's really cold, you can put it up like this, or you can actually also use it like a beret that will protect you. I took a polar sweatshirt with me just in case it's cold. And remember guys, I always, I can't recommend these things um, enough. When you go to sport stores, you will see these bags. These are very popular, very light backpacks. You can get different colors of them. And into one, you can just put your socks. Into another, you can put your underwear. If there is an opportunity to swim, I'd also recommend getting a, a swimming shorts. So imagine in this one, there's all your socks. And this one, there's all your underwear. Um, well, this is not the same thing, of course. I actually uh, bought this first. And when I saw this, this is much lighter, much bigger, and much more versatile because you can also use this to, you know, make shopping and all. So folks, when it comes to shoes, I'm preferring to have the long boots, which are Gore-Tex. No matter what brand you buy, I'm advising you to get the Gore-Tex shoes. Folks, Gore-Tex shoes, uh, they can breathe. And at the same time, they are waterproof. So those are the best type of shoes you can get. You can get any type of slippers. I prefer these. I also recommend taking um, this multiple plugs with you, like long extension cable. Right here in South Africa, they use a different type of plug. So all I need to do is just, you know, plug this in. So like this, I have the three outlets with me. Um, in some camps, in some places, the electricity is provided with the generators. So you need like you can get the electricity at certain times of the day, so it's very useful for that to make the process faster, easier. In your everyday life and in your, like if you're also traveling, I always recommend getting the lightest laptop there possible so you can carry it anywhere because laptop does so many things and it's actually a part of our lives. I'm using a um, MacBook Retina 13 inch. It's a pretty small one as you can see the scale of my hand and I put it inside a case. I also recommend getting a case like this because you can, with the case, you can throw this into anywhere um, without getting your laptop damaged. So this is a very light one, one and a half kgs, three pounds, takes very little space and does wonders, especially if you're a photographer. Um, it's also very good at uh, processing Photoshop and Lightroom and all that. Um, of course, you're going to need hard disks when you're taking pictures or videos. I recommend getting a big hard disk like that one. And it's a very light one. It's USB 3, pretty fast. This comes out with a little cable like this. Look how small this one is. This is actually a USB stick. And that's 64 gigabytes. And there's also a version which is 128 gigabytes. I mean, this is wonderful. It weighs almost nothing. It's pretty small. I'll get a couple of these and a big guy like this. If you are doing videos, this is great. If you're only doing pictures, I would only get a couple of these and I'd be good to go. So that will also make your package very light. So here's another one. Uh, folks, the cables. Um, let me give you a tip here. Uh, since many devices are right now 
are, are being charged with the USB, I'd only recommend getting one of them. So like this, all you need to do is, this is a different gadget, this is a speaker for example. You can just charge your speaker with this, your iPhone with this, or your phone, whatever. Here I have a power bank, which is also very useful. Just like I said before, get yourself a little box like this, so you can fix everything inside, so you can fit everything inside at once, and um, so it's going to be much easier to find things, and it's going to be much more um, tidy. So in my hand, so in my hand luggage, I always take a book, a sleeping pillow, some pills. By the way, when you go to Africa, of course, not only the pills like the painkillers, but also um, other medicines are also recommended, so you should also uh, take a look at what you would need. I take a, definitely a headphone. Sometimes, you know, there's a baby crying next to you or there's a guy who's, you know, noisy or... I'm going to die! No. I feel sorry for this guy. This is what happens when you left your mobile phone at your girlfriend's home and you are married. And if you're traveling as a couple, definitely get one of those adapters so you can listen to, you know, both at the same time. Well, this also has a cable, so, and definitely a book of your choice. And just in case your blood sugar level goes down, have some candy with you. And I didn't include the photography equipment that I take along during this trip because I'm planning on making a new uh, video about this, although I made one earlier before. If you check out the other videos that I have, you'll see that um, I already made a video about what to take as photography gear to Africa. However, there has been an update in my photography equipment, so I'll make a video um, about the updated photography equipment later. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment and share.